Clap hands for everybody and we bless God in the name of Jesus. Now with a standing ovation all the way from Holland, Amsterdam, Praise Valley Temple, let's clap our hands and invite our mother of the church, Mama Sandra Ousuansa. Clap your hands and bless God for her life. Oh, I can't feel you. Can you clap once as you are shouting? You are receiving your miracle in advance. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Is this for me or for God? Let's appreciate God. He has done so much for you. It's because of him that is why we are here. Hallelujah. Amen. Please have your seat. Good evening. The Lord bless you. It's such an honor to be here. When my son called and said, Mama, you have to come, I couldn't say no. And I'm glad I came because I know the Lord has something for somebody here today. Amen. Hallelujah. I greet the angel of this house, the first lady in her absence, and the leadership of this ministry. Hallelujah. And all of you, if you did not come, trust me, I will be preaching to chess. So it is good you came. And I know God has something for you. Hallelujah. 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 Shall we close our eyes and pray? Heavenly Father, I give you glory. I give you honor. Father, you sent me this evening here for a word to speak into somebody's life, to pray for somebody. My God, I stand here. And I'm about to preach the word you gave to me. Father, speak through me. May I not do anything of my own. May everything that I do, may it come from you. And at the end of the day, I know you will glorify yourself. I give you glory. I give you honor. I thank you for what you're about to do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. I did not come alone. I come with my two beautiful girls. Linda, could you stand up? Linda is here, and Pearl, stand up. They came here with me this evening. And my husband, Bishop Bernard, sends his greeting also. Hallelujah. Today is his birthday, so he's very busy. And I know he's praying for us also. The Lord bless you. Today, my message I've entitled, Why God's Blessings Seems to Take So Much Time long time before we receive our blessings. And I know you've been asking that question a lot. Why is it taking so long for me to get my blessings? What am I doing wrong? My base Bible scripture is Habakkuk 2.3. Habakkuk 2.3. All of us, I'm sure we are aware of this scripture. You know it off ahead. Hallelujah. It says, for the vision is yes an appointed time. But as the end, it shall speak and not lie. Through it, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come to pass. It will not what? Tarry. Hallelujah. It will not tarry. You see, whenever God wants to bless us with something, he wants to train us so that whatever he gives to us, we will be able to keep it and use it. He needs to train us. I want to use somebody like David to show you how God trained us. You see, whenever God trained us, he wants us to what? Keep whatever he's given to us. That is why we need to train. He needs to train us so that we will know how valuable it is, whatever he has given to us. When you come to church and you are an usher, a worker, and you are being trained. Sometimes it's difficult, but at the end of the training, you know the benefit that comes. Hallelujah. We have somebody like David. David. David was an insignificant person in his family. There was a time that prophet was sent to his family, and they didn't even remember him. They forgot him. Samson was about to anoint one of the sons, and God told uh, um, Samuel, and God told Samuel, Samuel, I have rejected this one. This is not the one I'm looking for. Ask Jesse, is that all his children? They have forgotten David. They have sent David to a field, 
And David was looking after sheep. And in this context, the sheep were, the, uh, it was symbol for Israel. And David were, was looking after sheep. How stubborn they are. Man of God, just like in this church. The children that God has given to you, some of them might be not that, that all what you want. Sometimes when you are correcting them, it is so difficult. When you tell them, go straight, that is when they decide to go another way. When you tell them, sit down, that is when they decide to stand. When you tell them, don't do this, that is when they think, I, will want, I want to do something else. We need training. So God was training David. David was sent far away, a journey about a week or two. To look after sheep. Because very soon he will be looking after physical people, Israel. So God sent him to look after sheep. To correct them. To direct them. When an attack will come, to stand. Hallelujah. There was another training that God gave to him. That was the enemy of Israel. Goliath, Israel's biggest enemy. Israel's biggest enemy. Goliath was an, a, a giant that was tearing and uh, putting fear of, uh, into the heart of the people of Israel. And the word of God says, when David was sent to get, send food to the brethren, when he reached there, there was no fighting going on. And the brother said, what have you come to do here? Have you come to mock us or go and tell that we are not doing anything? And he said, I don't see you fighting. You guys are afraid of this dog. You guys are afraid of this person that doesn't know our God. And you allow him to say all these things, to open his mouth and talk about our God. Our God, the one that has promised you, the one that has protected you, the one that has shielded you. You allow this dog to speak to you and you are so afraid. And he asks, what shall be given to the one that will kill this dog? What shall be given? He said, when I was on the field taking care of sheep, a bear came, a lion came. I was able to kill them all. What shall be given? He was under training and he didn't even know. What shall be given? Are you like those when you go out and somebody is talking about your church? You just join in. Or are you like somebody that will stand like David and say, what shall be given to the person that will correct you and tell you that I serve a living God? I serve a living God. The I am that I am, the faithful one, that one that has protected me. I am here because of him. Irrespective of whatever you have gone through, Corona came. You are alive. You should be grateful. The Lord has protected you. You should be grateful. Hallelujah. Another training that David needed to go through was to know somebody from the royal family. Because very soon, he's going to be a king. And people of God, you know you cannot be a king. That you don't know anything about royalty. Remember, he was taking care of sheep. He doesn't know how to talk in public, how to dress, how to sit down, how to even sit at the table and use cutlery. He didn't know that. He needed somebody. He needed somebody to teach him all that. And Jonathan was there. Jonathan was there to train him for that. God brought all this his way. Training. Sometimes when we are going through trainings, we don't even understand. We ask so many questions. We ask God, why? Why me? 
who else? He is training you for something better. Hallelujah. He is training you for something better. Moses went through that too. Moses went through that. God is training you for something. Whatever you are going through, I'm here to tell you, God is training you. Your end will be greater. Don't worry. Don't be in hurry. Don't rush. Whoever has gone ahead of you, let them go. Jehovah will give you acceleration. Amen. He will give you acceleration. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He will give you acceleration. He will give you acceleration. I just have a few points. We talk about it and then we pray. Hallelujah. My next point, I say, things go as they come. Easy come, easy go. Easy come, easy go. Anything you don't suffer to get, you just abuse it. You don't appreciate it. Look at the prodigal son. A parable that Jesus told us. This boy felt that my father has money and I have to wait till he is dead. Do you know what, dad? Share, give me my part. Let me go and enjoy. And the word of God says that he left when he received his. He left and went to a far country where nobody knows him. And when you have money, People will come around like flies. They will come and enjoy. So they came and enjoy with him. And when the money finished, they were all gone. Nobody was left. They were all gone. And famine came. And this boy was hungry. Even food for pigs he could not get. He did not appreciate the hard work that the father has done to acquire that money. He just wanted his share. He did not plan to buy a land. He did not plan to buy a house. No. He just enjoyed with friends. And the money was finished. Before he knew it, it was gone. All. All was gone. The friends left him. They were never his friends anyway, they came around to enjoy. They left. I said, easy come, easy go. Anything you don't put in and you just get it, you don't put any hard work to it and you just receive it. You let it go just like that. Because you don't know how it came. It just, one day you woke up and it's there. So you will enjoy it. I remember when I came from uh, Holland, I was, I've been telling Linda and um, Peace also. There's a, uh, a shop, also for I think you will know, Albert Hein. Probably you've heard of it. This shop is about 130 years old. 130 years old. And the man, the young Albert Hein started when he was 21. He took it over from the father. The father was just selling herbs. That is all. And he started a corner shop and started selling things, anything that he would get. Before you know it, he has shops all over Holland, Belgium, even in America. And there was one of his grandsons. Everybody has share in the company anyway because they all work. After school, you come and you play your part. So you know how it feels to work there. But one of the grandsons wasn't, wasn't part of this. He was not working. So he decided, okay, my share, I want to have it. So sell it, give me my money. Just like what the prodigal did, prodigal son did. And he went to the center of Amsterdam. And you have friends. He just sniffed all the money through his nose. <laughs> Sniff it. And it was gone. It was gone. He did not put in any Hard work, nothing. So the way he received it, it went the same way, fast. Who can you blame when you do that? Who can you blame? We don't want to be trained. So then all these things will come our way. People of God, there are a lot of things that God will give to you. Some idea that the Jehovah will give to you. Don't 
think about your credential. Don't think about how well you are educated. If God says start with peanuts, start. He knows where he's taking you. Let people talk. Don't care about them. Start. He knows where he's taking you. He knows where he's taking you. If it's water, start. He knows where he's taking you. He knows where he's taking you. Hallelujah. Easy come, easy go. My next point. We place more value on things that come difficult. Anything that we suffer to get, we play values on it. Anything we suffer to get. Hallelujah. Amen. Anything we suffer to get, we play values on it. We do. There's a young man. I heard this story from Benny Hinn. There's a young man that finished school, a graduate, and was working. No, he didn't find work, but then came to church. So the man of God says, do you know what? We have crusade. Um, a great man of God is coming to town. So I want you to drive him around. And he said, why not? I'm not doing anything. So I will do. And that was Benny Hinn. So he was the one driving Benny Hinn around, picking him from the hotel, bringing him back to the crusade ground, everything. And the last day that Benny Hinn was leaving, this young man told Benny Hinn and said, Sir, I've been looking for a job for such a long time, and I'm not finding anything. And the man of God says, look for work. And then he was quiet. He said, okay. So he dropped him and then left. And he said on his way home, he decided, okay, do you know what? I will leave the city. I will leave the state and go to another. So whilst he was going in, he saw a farm and then said, let me go and see. Maybe they have work for me. And when there was an old man said, sir, do you have work for me? And the man said, we are not hiring. He said, you know what? I will work for food and, 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 and um, sleeping accommodation if you have somewhere for me to sleep. Only that. And the man said, are you sure? He said, yes. For accommodation and food, I will work. And this young man worked for three years. Three years. Learn everything. And one day, the old man said, son, come. I've seen you doing great things. Into, you have brought ideas. You have imparted into this farm. I'm old. My wife is gone. I don't have any family. Do you know what? For the past three years, I've watched you. I want to give you the farm and everything that is in it. <laughs> he was being trained, but he didn't know. He was looking for office job. And God said, you know what? I have a better office job for you. A better one. A farm with everything. All the machines. Everything. He served for what? Three years training. And he did not know that he was being trained. He didn't know. He received what? A farm. Hallelujah. Can you put yourself in this young position, this young man's position? And if it, it was you, can you honestly say that you would do that? Three years work for no money, no salary, just food and accommodation. But he did. Because somebody told him, look for work. And he obeyed. Not knowing he was going to get farm out of it. God is telling you something this evening. You've been searching for so long. You are looking for so many things. And you have asked God. And it is taking such a long time. Some of you maybe 5 years, 10 years, 15, 20 perhaps. Your training... Remember the training that God has put you through. Is it a training from a stepfather, a stepmother? What training have you received? And what are you doing with the training? What training have you received and what are you doing with the training? Somebody received it and became a king. What are you doing with your training? Somebody receive it and have a farm. What are you doing with your training? 
the one that God is giving to you, the one that you don't think is a training, but probably a, a painful um, situation that you are going through, what are you doing with it? Think about these things. God is training us. Hallelujah. Whatever comes our way, the end will be glorious. His word says that he will never lie. He will never lie. Hallelujah. Amen. We serve a good God. We serve a good God. He will never lie. My last point, and then we will pray. It says, long, tough times awake our very best. It takes our best to overcome our worst. It takes our best to overcome our worst. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember some time ago in Ghana, I think end of 70s to 80s, there was a serious farming in this country. And then things that we did not like to eat, we were eating it. We had a soap called Don't Touch Me. I don't know if you remember. Yes. Do we still have it? Yes. Don't Touch Me. We were using it. There was no money. We were using it. Famine taught us something. Just like in Europe, we run and we go there. It is so beautiful. But people of God, they also went through difficulties. Through the snow, they came up with what? With heaters. They came up with jackets. They came up with shoes that are warm in it. That when you go out, you don't even feel the snow. Those difficulties that they went through, they learned something from it. What have you learned? The difficulties that you have gone through, what have you learned? And are you applying what you have learned? What I know is when you are going through, ideas pop into your head. When Corona came, I noticed that young girls and young boys were able to open their own companies online, man of God, and they are making money. They are making money. Ideas come. Are you using the idea that you get? The one that God drops in, you, in your heart, are you using it? Or do you just want to pray and say, Father, I need millions, and you expect that God will just drop it in your hands? It doesn't happen that way. God will never do that. He will train you first. That is why you are here. Let God direct you. Go through the training. Your end will be glorious. Uh, Your end will be glorious. Go through the training. Hallelujah. Amen. Go through the training. Your end will be glorious. It will be glorious. We, if I say I will tell you stories, there's so many stories to tell. Myself, even when the corona came, Man of God, I don't know if you are aware. I opened an um, Instagram page and I had, I, I did something I called Mama's Kitchen. I was cooking and people would come home and buy. Mama's Kitchen. I was doing it with Dosi. She was the one taking care of the Instagram page and I was the one cooking. And he was the one taking care of the money all right. People of God, ideas will pop. Use it or you just sit on it. God will definitely give you an idea. Yeah. Apply it. It's a training we are going through. Go through. If it's difficult, don't worry. His word says that if it tarry, it doesn't mean that it will not come to pass. It will surely come. We serve a living God. Yes. He does not lie. It will surely come to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. It will surely come to pass. It will surely come to pass. Hallelujah. Shall we be on our feet? It will surely come to pass. It will surely come to pass. And this is a favor and miracle service. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a favor and miracle service. When you are favored, opportunity looks for you. When you are favored, 
opportunity looks for you. Hallelujah. Amen. You attract good things for yourself. Hallelujah. You attract good things for yourself. My prayer is that Jehovah will let you have opportunities. Amen. That good things will follow you. Amen. You will attract good things. Amen. Good things you will attract. Hallelujah. Amen. Good things you attract. Hallelujah. Amen. Good things you attract. Hallelujah. Amen. You have received your miracles. You have received your favor. Walk in it. Apply whatever you heard this evening. And you will testify. And you will know that we indeed we serve a living God. We serve a living God. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Man of God. Oh, somebody, let's be on our feet. Let's clap our hands. What a powerful ministration. God bless you. God bless you. Wow. Wow. Let's clap us one more time for Mama Sandra. Amazing ministration. Wow. 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 Oh, clap until she get there. Lift up your right hand. Amen. What, what a powerful ministration. Tell somebody God is training you. God is training you. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Whatever you are going through. Whatever you are going through. God is training you. God is training you. And after the training. And after the training. You will graduate. You will graduate. And listen to me. Your graduation will be your testimony. If you are here, you believe that you are graduated, graduating with a testimony. Can you clap your hands and shout and bless the name of the Lord? Wow. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. While she was ending the service, I saw that some people were now entering. I said they didn't hear this powerful word. What a powerful word. What a powerful word. Amen. Unfortunately, that she's going very soon. Otherwise, she would have been here for the women's convention as well. That's right. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Our powerful ministration. Amen. We are about to do two prayers based on this word. Now, hear me. We have two types of people here now. You have gone through your suffering and training for a long time. That you need to graduate. And this is the first prayer. Because every training has to come to an end. That some people here, the battles have been since the time you were in class four. The time money started coming to your parents, the one of your parents died. You have to go and live with an uncle. When the uncle in the uncle's house, too, problems happen. Primary school, the same thing. JS is the same thing. So all your life is full of the training. Listen, they've got to be a graduation. Uh, Say by fire. By fire. I can't feel you. Say by fire. By fire. By fire. Pain of suffering, of suffering that I've gone through, that I've gone through in my life, in my life for a long time. For a long time. Oh God, oh God. Tonight, tonight, remember me, remember me, deliver me, deliver me, favor me, favor me, glorify me, glorify me. Give me a testimony, me a testimony. As, I clap, as I clap, as I pray. As I pray. Somebody clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray even right now by fire in the name of Jesus. Let God arise. Let God arise by authority, by fire, by power. Let Jehovah arise. Let Jehovah arise. Let Jehovah arise. Somebody pray. Let Jehovah Ziba Zeba Zabaya Zabaya Kato Leba Zeba Lepa Paya Lindo Lekete Zika Panta Rabando Kete Paya Rande Lekete Paya Zike 
Zebandokete, Zebandokete, Zebandekete paya, Zakante ya paya, Leke branta paya, Leke branta paya, Leke te branta paya, Le brante le 